Welcome to the thrift store where two brothers with five whole dollars attempt to find the most interesting or strange board game from yesteryear and review it for you. This is Thrift Store Throwbacks. So this week we have Shopping Center, a game in which you are moving through a fictional mall and going from store to store trying to name items that you might find in that store. Let's take a look. So we're going to start off by rolling our die. We got a three. We're going to go to the shoes and leather accessory store. Now, once you get here, you draw a card that has a letter on it. In this case, H. I have to name an item from that store that begins with that letter. So for H in a shoe store, I'm going to say hiking boots. And if you get the answer correctly, everyone agrees, you get a stamp. You're basically trying to fill out your stamp card, which has 20 spaces. If you get 20 spaces full, you win. Uh, in addition to the letters, you have things like jokers. If you get a joker, you set it aside and you draw another letter for this round. And if ever you get stumped, you can use your joker, ignoring any letters, just name four items from whatever shop you're in and you get a stamp. Again, 20 stamps wins you the game. In addition to the letters and jokers, there's these kind of text cards which have good and bad effects. You can get stamps, you can lose chips, which are also punishments if you can't name. An item, you lose a chip. If you lose 10 chips, you're out of the game. Uh, you can go around the mall a total of three times. If no one's filled out their board by that time, whoever's in the lead wins. So that was Shopping Center by Ravensburg Games. I would say not good, no. but you know, not that bad. It was actually more challenging than I thought it was going to be. It, it's kind of like pre categories to me. Yeah. And the game, it really kind of comes down to how nitpicky you want to be about mm -hmm. people's answers. Yeah. And there's even like an easy version you can play where you don't even deal with the letters at all. It's just name an item from that store. So it's maybe for kids. What we want to do is we want to elevate to the next level. So we played speed round edition where you only had 10 seconds to come up with an item. The best part I think was the because it's a multilingual version, it's originally yeah. from Germany. Some of the translations are a little weird. Like the tool shop was called the Ironmonger. Which you is go to the awesome. Ironmonger. But that is our thoughts on the Shopping Center. Uh, I'm Michael Lee Murphy. I'm Nick Murphy. Until next time, I guess we'll see you at the thrift store. See you there.